Hi class and welcome to the Art of Acrylic. If this is your first time with acrylics, you can achieve results close to this if you just follow the step-by-step -step guide. You really will be able to get it. They're very simple principles. You've just got to follow them a little bit at a time. This is what we're going to achieve from this painting. It's a very simple still life setup, but it looks at a lot of the principles used in painting, a lot of different elements all working together. So the ideas of negative space, which are really helpful for you to be able to draw things more accurately, you'll see here in the handle and this little shape here. The idea of perspective and giving your viewer an idea of relationships and sizes is used with overlap. So how we've got the lemon placed in front of the jug here. So the method that I'm gonna talk through in this painting is using a very limited palette to start with and then slowly introducing colors as we get further along, closer to the finish. However, as you get more adept at painting and more used to it, you can of course start with a full range of colors to start with and it will be quicker than your first one. As with everything, it's always better to kind of start slowly, creep up on it, so we don't have hundreds of colours, get in a mess, and then never get our paintings finished. You also learn how you've got to hold off your highlights until right at the end to make the jug have this real nice sheen to it. How to make your lemon juicy with glazes over the top to really bring that warmth. And how to make your tea just look tea and <laughs> really good to drink. So we're going to start with one colour, a brown, burnt umber, a very, very useful colour, and we're gonna block in our painting. This is just looking at the masses of the drawing, as in what is a light area and what is a dark area. This has been shown here from using one single light source. This is very effective when you're painting because it really helps to give the illusion of depth. And that's one of the trickiest things to get when you're trying to convince the viewer of your subject. If we had lots of different light sources all coming from different angles, it would look more like a photo shoot where everything's really highly finished. In painting, you want to try and keep it simple so it looks more effective. So here we've got one light source which produces these lovely shades of what are called cast shadows, as in the shadow cast by an object. So grab a brew, grab your brushes, maybe a biscuit, you might need it, and let's get learning. 